Hello and welcome. This video is a follow-up of my uh, previous video. Uh, that is video 28, uh, which is on the EDSIM 51 LCD module. Now, in that uh, video, I talked about in great detail as to how to set up the uh, LCD module and display one line of text. Now, in this video, I like to uh, basically show you how to display two lines of text. Now, before I go about doing that, let us do a quick recall or recap uh, of the uh, HD44780 uh, block diagram. The EDSIM51 LCD module is based on the Hitachi HD44780. So here is the uh, block diagram. Um, and I'd like to remind ourselves that this is the instruction register, IR. And this is the data register, DR. And for this video, I like to concentrate on this display data RAM or DD RAM. Uh, before I do that, uh, a quick reminder of the uh, LCD module uh, schematic. Here is the LCD module uh, of the EDSIM 51, and here is the AT51. The read write line of the LCD module is wired uh, to ground in the EED SIM uh, 51. And the enable pin, the E, e pin of the uh, LCD module is connected to uh, P1.2 of the AT51. And the RS pin, the register select, is connected to P1.3 or the of the AD51. Okay, so let's check out the display data RAM or the DD RAM uh, register. Now, before we do that, let's do a quick reminder of, of ourselves of the EDSIM51 uh, simulator, and uh, let's focus on this uh, LCD module here. So let me just extract that out and then enlarge it. And this gray little rectangles here, these are the characters of the LCD module. And there are 16 characters on each line. There are only two lines of display on the uh, LCD uh, module. So there are 16 characters and two lines. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try and figure out how to program this uh, DDRAM uh, register. <clears throat> so there are eight bits, as you can see from here. Uh, let's look at this two bits here. This is the register select RS that has to be set to a zero, logic zero. And the read-write line, uh, that too has to be set to a logic zero. Now, in order to program the address, these are the addresses here. DB7, this bit here, has to be set to a one. All right, so DB7 has to be set to a one. And subsequently, these bits here contain the address of each character on the LCD module. All right, so let's take a look at the LCD module again. These are the two lines of 16 character each line. And um, let's look at it. So this character here, which is represented here, that has a unique address of 00, zero hexa. So these are, these numbers that you see here are all the hex addresses of each of the character 
of the LCD module. So let's take a look at another one. So this character here would have an address of 0, 01. This one here would have an address of 0, 02 and so on. And on the second line, the first character would have an address of 4, 0 hexa. This character here would be 4, 1 hexa. And this one will be 42 hexa and so on. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start it, start the code at 0, 0, 0, 0 hexa. Uh, this will equate RS, which is register select, assign that to uh, P1.3, that is port 1 bit 3. Then assign uh, equate uh, enable E to uh, port one bit two P one dot two. Here clear RS will set RS uh, to zero. That will select the instruction register IR. The purpose of the instruction register is to store instruction codes like clear display and so on. Then the next line here will call the function set subroutine. Basically, that will set the LCD uh, module to 4 bit mode operation. This subroutine here will turn the display and cursor on. This one here will call the entry mode subroutine. Basically, that will increase the DD RAM address by 1. Uh, that would have the effect of shifting the cursor to the right by one. Now the details of all these subroutines, these three subroutines here, is in my previous video, video 28. Uh, that is it at SIM 51 LCD module. Uh, I'm not going to go into the explanation of this. That that would take too long. So I would highly recommend that you go uh, watch video number 28. Uh, to get the details of this subroutine. Now, let's get back to this uh, code here. Basically, this was set bit RS. That was set RS uh, equals to 1. And that was select the data register DR. Uh, the function of the data register is to store the data to be displayed onto the LCD module. Right. Uh, let me explain this uh, to help me explain this. I'm going to pull up the data table here, displayed here. Now, basically, there are two lookup tables, LUT1, LUT2. LUT1 starts at 0, 2, 0, 0 hexa. And that's where it stores this character, the 1, numerical 1. Or, right? So just remember LUT1 has the address of 0200 hexa. So what this instruction would do would uh, take that value 0200 hexa, move that into DPTR, that is data pointer register. So DPTR now will contain 0200 hexa. Next, clear the register A, that was set A equals 0. When you come to this instruction here, basically we need to focus on this part here first. That will grab whatever is stored in the data pointer register. That happens to be currently is 0200 hexa. Add to the contents of A, that happens to be a 0. So the overall effective address now is 0200 hexa. That would send it to the uh, to this location here copy that into a and then here if a uh, it's uh, zero we then move to this part of the code I'll come to that uh, in a minute but if it's not zero you come down here that will display whatever in in a or send it to the data register to be display and then increment the data pointer by one, which means data pointer, the DPTR will be pointing to this next location. That happens to be 0201. 
all right and then it says jump back to location clear a work out the effective address which happens to be here the second time round grab this move it to a a not zero go down here display that to the LCD module and so on so we we'll eventually we we'll get to this point where it will fetch this zero and when that uh, when the instruction see a zero it will then jump to this part of the code all right so this this is the next and where you will find this subroutine this subroutine will basically put the cursor onto the next line of the LCD module so the next one here will set RS to 1 that will select the data register get it ready to send the data store there to be displayed again let me repeat the, the, uh, the lookup table here so that will be pointing to this part that happens to be uh, which is this location here that happens to be 0209 hexa you if you work it out this is 0200 hexa all the way here so you need to just figure out the address uh, I figure it out as 020 sorry 0209 hexa which is the position here the location here so to copy that to DPTR uh, clear register A work out the effective address that's basically 0209 hexa add to A which is 0 so that will point to this bit here grab that copy to A and then send it to be display and then go back and do it again until you get to a zero where uh, when you say when if zero then you end it here which then uh, cause the program to uh, to stay uh, at this position okay so that's about it and then uh, we need to look at the uh, cursor position uh, subroutine okay uh, I repeated the uh, DD RAM address uh, register so uh, we need to clear RS the register select then uh, read write bit here will be set to zero remember the uh, in AD scene 51 the read write bit is wired hardwired to ground so if that is zero so uh, that take care of those two bits now db7 which is connected to uh, p1.7 that you set that to a one now the rest of the bits now should contain the address of the character of the lcd uh, lcd module so let's look at the this db6 here that happened to be p1.6 set the set bit set, bit, set that bit to a one which is this one here the next two we clear p1.5 p1.4 and the these are the two bits here respective sorry these are the two bits here respectively so basically we set it to uh, zero so it's one zero 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 that's four all right in binary that's four then uh, p1.7 p1.6 P1.5, P1.4, we should, uh, we should the rest of the bits here. Now set them all to zero. So the effective address now starting from here is one zero 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 zero. That in hexa that will be four zero. And then this pulse will write it. Uh, we write the, all this information to the uh, register here and delay it, wait for the uh, busy flight to clear. Uh, I just want to show you that this is the address 40 hexa, which is this character here. I think that's about it. Okay, so let's take a look at the code uh, in full. I'm using a notepad plus plus a text editor um, you may want to check it out I find it very useful so um, so here okay so 
I'm starting it. The, the code here is 0, 0, 0, 0 hexa and uh, equate the RS and uh, E signals to P1.3, P1.2. Uh, you can see all the uh, subroutine calls are here. Uh, the lookup table part is here for the first one and uh, set the uh, cursor to the next line and then uh, display the second lookup table here uh, basic, basically that's it uh, uh, please uh, ignore this one it's not supposed to be here um, I will tidy this up before I post it up and then this, all the subroutine calls are here uh, again I won't go into the details of it uh, in this video, please uh, refer back to my previous video, video 28, for the detailed explanation of this uh, subroutines here. The display con that would turn the um, cursor uh, and the display on. Here, the function set basically would set the LCD module to 4 bit mode. And this is the, uh, the, the subroutine that will uh, set the uh, DDRAM address and uh, this is this is the uh, address that we want that will take it to the uh, to the second line uh, the first character of the second line all right and then this is the entry mode um, basically this will shift the uh, cursor cursor uh, to the right by one bit and this is the uh, the pulse uh, subroutine. This is the send character. Uh, again, the details of all these are in my uh, previous video. And here is the uh, lookup table. And so basically, that is the uh, the full source code. I will put the link to this source code in the description below. Okay, let's proceed. To the EDC51 to see the simulation. Okay, so I've uploaded the code into EDC51. Um, so let me just assemble it. And um, before I run, um, please note that I'm using an update frequency of uh, 30, 30. Uh, it's maybe a little bit slow, but at least we will see the uh, display coming on nicely. So it's already the code is already assembled. So let me just hit the run button and uh, watch out for this uh, LCD module here. You see, it's starting to print the message on the LCD module. And that's it. So you got first line and second line. And uh, that's it. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, before I end the video, uh, just to remind you, I've uploaded the code that I've used in this video in the link uh, given in the description below. So um, please uh, view it um, and use it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.